Joseph is in a dilemma. He has been offered a job which would pay him 80,000 per month for the first three years and 120,000 per month for the next three years and 150,000 per month for the remaining four years. He's also been offered an MBA at a prestigious place and he's considering whether to accept the job or to go for the MBA. Like, like most students, they're taking this decision. The first year tuition fee for the MBA program was 16 lakhs. The second year is 20 lakhs. After MBA, he'll get a salary of 2 lakhs per month for the first four years. Then 2.5 lakhs per month for the remaining four. What will be the approximate percentage gain for Joseph in opting for the MBA? Only the question is saying the MBA option is more lucrative. Notwithstanding the fact that it's been going to be set back 16 lakhs and 20 lakhs. Okay. Considering no discounting of money. Very interesting. And we'll come back to that last sentence. That's cheating. And, but let's do the numbers. Very plain vanilla question. All we've got to do is say add all the money he's getting. Keep it on one pot. All, add all the money he's getting in the other pot. Find how much is one percentage more than the other. This is 80k in the first three years. So 80k into 3 into 12 plus 120k into 3 into 12 plus 150k into 4 into 12. So we're looking at a 10 year horizon. That is what this side is. I'm writing k to stand for 1000. So that I don't have to deal with so many zeros. 16 lakhs and 20 lakhs, they disappear. So minus 1600 zero, zero, minus 2000. Zero, zero. This many thousands. 16 lakhs is 1600,000. That is it, a minus. And then plus 2 lakhs per month. So plus 200k into 12 into 4 plus 250k into 12 into 4 lovely so how do we do this this is add these two together it is minus 3600k right? this is we can take out a 12 straight away from everything there's a 12 taken away from here as well so let's take out 12k 80 into 3 is 240 120 into 3 is 360 150 into 4 is 600. Here let's take out a 12k. After I take out 12k, we are minus 300. 12k goes away. 200 into 4, 800. 250 into 4, 1000. So the 12k, 12k disappears. I'm just thinking in terms of ratios so that our uh, percentage calculation becomes simpler. So this is 240 plus 360 is 600 plus 600, 1200. This side, 800 plus 1000 is 1800 minus 300 is 1500. Or this is 12 is to 15, 4 is to 5. So it is higher. This is 4, that is 5. How much, by what percentage is it higher? It is 25% higher. And nice and simple and protein. What you have done here quite beautifully is opting for the MBA, considering no discounting of money. Basically, all the benefits in the MBA option are later on. All the costs are early. In spending 36 lakhs now and getting 20 lakhs more 10 years later. It's not the same. But so there is discounting of money. You put 10 lakhs in a bank now, 10 years later it will be a big pot. And so they've quite conveniently said, don't do this and think long term. And so uh, they're selling an MBA course, so obviously they have to do that.